Mother, why don't you stop badgering me? Look, I know what I'm doing where Fox and Chad are concerned, okay? No, I'm not sure you do. Uh, excuse me, Dr. Russell. The x-ray room's available. If you don't use it now, you'll have to wait till this afternoon. No, I'd, I'd actually like to wait here with Whitney. No, honey, I think we should take advantage of the free time. We won't be long, Whitney. Just believe me when I tell you that your mom and I want what's best for you. Oh, my God. How am I going to give away my baby? Uh, Whitney Russell? Um, yeah, yeah. I'm Harriet Wellesley. This is my associate, George Newton. We're from Chapman Pence, the adoption agency you contacted about your baby. Uh, just a couple of papers to sign, and then we can move forward with placing your baby for adoption. Well, Teresa, your x-rays look good. It's obvious that the swelling around your spine has gone down significantly. So does this mean that I'll be able to walk without my cane someday? I'd say sooner rather than later. But I think you should take it easy, get a lot of rest. As a matter of fact, I think you should go home and rest now. Um, I don't really want to leave Whitney right now, you know? I know. I know. I wish there was a way to make her understand that it doesn't matter who's the baby's father. It's still her beautiful baby boy. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to go to Nick Q and see how he's doing. Okay, you know, I'll meet you there. I'm just going to find Ethan, okay? Take a good look at your uh, grandson, Dr. Russell. Because once Whitney places him up for adoption, we never see him again. But I just called you guys. I could have sworn the adoption procedure took a little bit longer than that. Well, not when the birth mother is as certain as you are about what she wants to do. So if we'll just sign these documents, we can make arrangements for your baby to be placed in a wonderful home as soon as he's released from the hospital. With good parents, because, you know, I, just, I, I want him to have the best parents in the world. That goes without saying, with me now. Just sign right here. Any word from Fox yet? No, nothing. You know, he should have gotten there last night. The least he could have done is called me, let me know he arrived safely. That way he's probably too busy playing superhero. Or he got caught by Alistair's henchman. Oh, and that would be a problem for you? Yeah, that would be a problem for me, Chad. I mean, the guy's my brother, and he's off trying to find my little girl and, and Gwen and bring him back home. Along with some heavy-duty choices. Sure. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you and Fox, you have a lot more in common than either of you would like to believe. Before he left, th th this was all I heard about. His choice. Well, you know, Ethan, maybe we do agree on something. I mean, how are you going to handle what's facing you? Uh, who, who do you stand beside when everybody else comes back to Harmony and is looking to you? Is it going to be your wife? Who's going to need a hell of a lot of support considering how she left, taking Teresa's baby? Or is it going to be Teresa, the light of your life? Dad, I don't know. Right now, I'm just, I'm just worried about Fox. If Alistair catches him, he's going to be rough on him. And how rough? I don't, I don't even want to think about how rough. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, Alistair could, could be really cruel, even to some of his family. And he would do anything if he thought he was being crossed. Anything. 